What's up and welcome back everyone. Today I have a big update in my FBA journey. I finally purchased my first product. I sent the money to China. The products are coming to the US. They should be arriving tomorrow or tonight. So in this video, three main things. One, I'm gonna talk about details about this product and how much I spent. Two, I'm gonna be breaking down everything I spent for FBA and showing you guys how much to expect to spend money on this. And three, I have a surprise that I think you guys will enjoy. It's a giveaway and I'll be talking about that at the end of the video. The first thing, excuse the formal attire, I just came back from my uh, 9 to 5 job, which I started two weeks ago and which I'm desperately trying to escape with this internet thing. So. Let's get started. I wrote down everything I spent since I started everything I spent since I started this FBA journey. So first, I took a course. It cost me $497. In my last video, I talked to Jared and he explained how he did all of this without a course. So if for, if you don't have that much money, you could do it without a course. It's going to take you a lot of time. You're going to have to ask a lot of questions, but it's possible. Do I recommend the course that I took? If you're a beginner, it's not a bad course but i took it and i had a lot of questions even after taking the course and that's after me doing research before to taking the course so i'm not hating on the person who did that course but it's missing a lot of information so course 497 there's another course out there that's 997 and if you take that one you're set that one is really good it's a ninja course by kevin david i highly recommend it i've seen people who took it and who are doing very well i've seen some parts of it from friends it's actually a good course second Jungle Scout web app and Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Now these two are very, very helpful for product research. Uh, Jungle Scout web app is a monthly subscription. I did it for one month and then canceled it. I recommend you try it first. You see how it works. You find some products. You might love it and keep, the, you, and keep using it. Or you might find a product and then cancel it after you found that product. But to be honest, I used it for one month and then I didn't find my product from that. I found it later on in a different way. So that's canceled, but it was still 39 that I spent once. And then $99 for the web app. Now this you need. You have two options, either Jungle Scout or something called Market Intelligence, which is a new software or uh, extension. And those two, what they do is that once you're searching for a product, you know what you're looking for. Jungle Scout will let you know an estimation of how much all the sellers are selling per month and how many reviews they have so you can see if there's a demand for this product and if it's competitive so you absolutely need something like that either jungle scout or the other one that i mentioned logo 55 dollars now i know you might say that this is too much and it might be a bit expensive but the other option would be fiverr you'd spend six to ten dollars and honestly i've had a bad experience with fiverr in, in the past just because i never got lucky with someone who's uh good enough for what i expected so the 55 dollars I, I spent on someone who i met online in a Facebook group and I told them I need this and this and this and she was asking me questions through, throughout the whole process so we really narrowed down exactly what I wanted. Next, barcode for $5. You need a barcode for every product that you sell. One barcode per product. So if you have 100 units of that product, it's one barcode. So it's just $5 from barcodemedia.com and I'll put a link in the description so that you don't have to go search everywhere. Now the products. I spent $1,558 on the products and shipping. Now it's an expensive product and it's a light product. So shipping is very cheap, but the products are expensive. Next, inspection. Now this is something that not everyone does. It cost me $105 and it's someone in China who goes to the factory and checks every single product for whatever criteria that you give them. So it costs $105 per day and it depends on how many products you have and how many the person can check per day. Mine wasn't a lot, so it took him one day to check everything. Best $105 I ever spent because he found five defects and that could have destroyed my business if the factory had sent the products with these defects. Next, photography of my products. I spent 254 point something, 96, on photography. Again, people might say that it's expensive. However, it is really worth it. One, because I suck at photography. I'm not going to do it myself. Two, because I'm in Canada and I'm selling in the US and I'm not going to see the product. Three, because they are located in the Philippines. So it was very easy and very cheap to send a unit from China to the Philippines. Actually, the supplier didn't make me pay for the unit. He just made me pay for shipping, which cost me $20, which was which was the next thing on the list. Shipping to the Philippines, $20, which is very cheap. And finally, and finally the total is $2,632.96. Now, if you did it without a course, it would cost $2,135.96. Whenever someone asks me how much they should expect to spend on their first product with FBA, 
I always say that it's between 1500, 2000, 2500, and you'll be comfortable. Anything less than that, and I'm sure you've heard that you can start with 800 or 1000. If it's not something tiny like fidget spinners, which you can't sell anymore because they died now, no one's buying them, it's gonna be very hard. And you're not gonna be able to buy enough products to rank well and have enough to give away so that you can go from the 20th page on Amazon to the first page on Amazon. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, next in my FBA journey is I start selling very soon. I'm very excited. I'm a little bit nervous because it's the first time that I sell in the US from Canada. And I will be showing you guys how that goes, hopefully well. If not well, I'll be showing it as well. We'll see what happens. So please subscribe if you want to see that. And now to the giveaway that I talked about in the beginning. So I've been very active in FBA Facebook groups and I've been getting a lot of people reach out to me and ask me questions about FBA, about retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, private labeling. Questions as basic as what is private labeling and as complicated as how do you do inspection and what to ask for inspection. So what I decided to do is every video, I'm going to give away a free coaching call, just a free hour with me, whether on WhatsApp or Skype or whatever, where I give you the freedom to ask me any question or just to discuss any ideas that you might have. If you wanna win that, all you gotta do is like and comment on this video and click the bell. I'll show you how to do it right here. And I'll be choosing one person randomly from every video. So if you like this video, please click the thumbs up. If you wanna see what happens next in my FBA journey, more tips on FBA, or to win the giveaway, please subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you next time. Peace.